Kyle Killen. I'm Howard Gordon. And tell us how uh, you guys came to work on this project, Awake. Well, you should start since it started with you, but I, um, why don't you start? He <laughs> it's wrote a classic, it. Here. It's a classic <laughs> Howard. You should start, but let me continue. Um, uh, I, wrote the, I wrote the project after my, uh, my last series was canceled, and uh, NBC was kind enough to pick it up. And uh, and I, I needed assistance in uh, in making it go, and they uh, I was lucky to, to be handed the genius Howard Gordon. Oh, yeah. there you go. There you go. Because I was privileged to be working with the genius Kyle Killen. I, I I read Kyle's script before I had anything to do with it on on a plane going back to New York, and I remember just I stole it off of an executive's uh, desk, and I landed, and I actually felt compelled to call my wife and wake her up. It was late in, in L. It was in New York, and I and uh, I called her, and uh, I was blown away by it. So I was very lucky to become to be part of it, and it's happened all very quickly, and it's turning out rather well. Not to jinx it, but yeah, no. we're psyched. No, it's it was a very cool pilot. I mean, great job. Um, but speaking of that, now Detective Britain obviously is dealing with some parallel lives going on. How are you guys going to evolve his reality? Like. I'm just curious what kind of, if you can tell us without spoiling things, sure. how it's going to evolve and if he, he's going to maintain, because it seems like it's the kind of situation that would kind of crack someone at some point. Do you want to? Do you want to? Uh, I think you know. Uh, he's our point of view in the show, and for him, it's 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 incredibly important to maintain both of those realities. One is his wife, and one is his mm -hmm. son. So he's not willing to give either of those up. I think both of them do evolve because in each of those realities they've lost someone and they're learning to go on uh, without someone he's sort of trapped in the middle so he he sort of becomes like a, a stretch armstrong figure yeah. who is holding on to these two lives that are that are slowly diverging from each other good comic-con reference there you go stretch armstrong. Armstrong, I know. very good howard you're so busy like congratulations on the book thank first you of all. thank you very much um so you're still finding time to kind of well, this is really this is my big this is okay. my my big this is my big priority. Good. Um, and uh, uh, I'm just so you know happy to be part of it. I, I'm I'm actually having something that I haven't had in a long time, which is fun. I mean, this has really been really a blast. I mean, I had I have that exciting feeling about you know doing something new. It's very very hard, mm -hmm. and have you know scouring the sort of dusty corners of my stale imagination. I know how hard it is. But no, of to find something that's new and and and, and a very interesting way of telling stories mm -hmm. and. And and at the and having at the center of it a character who is really fascinating, um, and can speak to everybody because the show is about loss, but it's really also about life, and mm -hmm. it's about this character who is a father, who's a husband, and so all those things about you know marriage and fatherhood are things that really we are exploring while we're telling a very neat procedural. And, and it's a great. I think there was a great line in the pilot where you know he he basically verbalizes that and says why would I ever want to wake up like this is like the the two worlds that I, I don't want I'm not willing to let go of either one and, we, and hopefully I mean I hope as Kyle said you know through the point of view of Michael Britton we're gonna find ourselves increasingly invested in both worlds and increasingly unwilling to give either one up so you won't know who to root for you'll, you'll have to pick Right, you, you end up in his shoes. You really, you, you, you won't want to part with, with either of them if we do our job right. And will we see more of the, the two psychologists or psychiatrists? Those were great characters to also help explore his dilemma. Are they going to be every episode? Like, Absolutely, they're really the only people who know the whole story. So, you know, they're the only people that he can talk to uh, without, without sort of worrying about saying something he shouldn't so they serve they serve a, an incredibly important function and there's a hint in the pilot of the two procedurals right are kind of they're a little blendy in the sense that he starts to kind of use clues in one to solve the other is that going is that a theme that'll continue as well kind of that graying of the two realities? well again Kyle i think brilliantly established this very complex yeah. idea and really laid it out very simply and i think rigorously kept it such that we really didn't know which was which and that was you know sort of one for that world one for the other mm -hmm. we're going to be less slavish in terms of doing that okay. as the series ebbs and flows some sometimes one case will really take priority sometimes it'll only be one case okay. but other times it'll be like the pilot and two cases will comment on each other and you'll keep the kind of visual cues as to obviously has different partners right mm -hmm. in the two but there were also kind of color cues in the band and that's kind of just to help viewers keep track. 
Thank you. Oh, it's, it's an ongoing. It's an ongoing. It's an ongoing question. I mean, you know, you could speak. Yeah, to I mean, that. I think you know, in the in the beginning, you need all the visual cues you can get. But I think that uh, as you become engrossed in in the two sides, it becomes easier to tell where you are more quickly. All right, cool. Is this? Is this can't be your first Comic Con for either of you, given your. It is mine. Really? Yeah. It's probably my. 10th, 15th. Oh. I, I was here when it was all took place in one room with the, uh, you know, with the, no, I mean, I, with just Howard. Me, with just me. <laughs> with just him in Howard his mind. Con. Howard. <laughs> Did you give him any advice on what to expect? Not yet. I will after this. It's crazy. Good luck, you guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Very you. Much.